Hi, welcome to my platform. This is uh, C. Chamba Jacob. All right, so uh, in this video, we'll try to talk about uh, equation of a tangent and uh, normal to the curve. Okay, so what do they mean when they talk about these two things? So when we say tangent, What do we mean? And when we say normal, so uh, most people do get confused between these two things, tangent and uh, normal. So when we talk about tangent, let's say you've got a point right here. This is maybe one and this is uh, three. This is a point right here. So to show the tangent, okay, the, the, the tangent line right here on this point, it must look like this. So this is a, a tangent line. We know that a tangent line is a line that is a, touching a curve at one point or a circle at just one point okay so this is a tangent line okay I, I i guess you've gotten now an idea on how a tangent line is so here when we talk about the gradient okay the slope of the curve here if it's two if it is two this is gradient. If the gradient is 2 at this point, the gradient of the curve at this point is 2. Even for the tangent line, it will just be the same. It will still be 2. Now, when you talk about normal, the normal will look like this. Okay? So this is how the normal will look. It will pass at this same point, okay? It will pass at this same point, but it will be perpendicular, okay, to the tangent line. It will be perpendicular, meaning here it will be 90 degrees. When it comes to the gradient of the normal, it will look like this. M, let me call it M1, it will be equal to 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2. You reciprocate this one, you change. You put 1 over this same gradient and uh, the negative. So it will be negative 1 over 2. So this is what you need to know when it comes to normal and uh, tangent or tangent and normal. Let's try to do an example. So we've got uh, this uh, question right here. Okay. So the question reads, find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve. Y, okay, y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 3. So the first thing here must be to find the gradient. So how do we find the gradient? We differentiate. We find the dy dx, okay? You find the dy dx, and this will just be like this. So this is the dy dx. So how did I find this dy dx? This is what I did. You say dy dx is equal to, you say, the power which is here, multiply it with the number that is in front here. In this case, we have a 1. So... Uh, 2 times 1 is 2. You even write the variable, which is x. And then to the power, which is here, subtract a 1. Okay? So this is how we do it. Plus, here, what power is here? It's 1. 1 times 4 is 4. x. Power is power 1. Okay? This 1 minus 1. We always subtract 1. And this is the procedure. This is how we must be doing it. So once you do this, you can clean up. You have a 2x because 1 minus uh, 2 minus 1, it's a just power 1. 
to re we remain with x plus 4 x 1 minus 1 is a 0 okay now remember anything to the power 0 is 1 so it would be 1 times 4 which is just a 4 so this is how I came up with this one so once you do this you now go to the given points so you have the points here 1 comma 2 so you let x be equal to 1 so this x is equal to 1 we want to find the gradient and actually this is a gradient the first derivative is the gradient once you differentiate the first differentiation will be your gradient so now it's a matter of plugging in a uh, 1 where x is so it will be 2 1 here okay just like that and when we solve we have a 2 plus a 4 our gradient will just be a 6 so our gradient is a, a 6 right here okay so now we start with the norm um, tangent okay we start with the tangent so to find tangent okay tangent we need the point so we know the point is 1 comma 2 the point right here this one over here is 1 comma 2 it's very important and uh, the formula for finding the equation of a straight line which is the, this one okay so for tangent don't do anything to the gradient just get that gradient the way it is so here we put a 2 is equal to this 2 y axis is 2 m is 6 x is z is uh, is 1 plus c now solve or the 2 is equal to 6 plus c c group the like terms you get a 2 minus 6 which is equal to c you solve you get a negative uh, negative 4 so our c is negative 4 so now we can write our equation we say y is equal to 6 we know our m is a 6 x our c is z a minus c 4 or negative 4 so this is it the equation that is uh, the, uh, the equation of a tangent to the curve we are done with it, the equation of the tangent so now we can now find the equation of uh, the normal so we say normal So at which point one comma two? So for the normal, you get your m. So you have a m one. So what is our m one? Remember on my explanation, I said for normal, you change. It will be negative one over, and then get the gradient that you have, one over six. So now since we have this, we can now use equation over. Uh, equation of finding um, a straight line or formula for for the equation of the straight line so which is this one we we'll put a 2 here we will put a negative 1 over 6 we we'll put a 1 plus C a 1 at X we solve and when we solve what are we getting we're getting 2 is equal to negative uh, uh, 1 over 6 plus c group the like terms you have a 2 uh, plus 1 over 6 is equal to c so we solve for c our c will just be something like this oh actually this is c this is 13 over 6 our c is 13 over 6 so we can write we write our equation right here it will be y is equal to negative 1 over 6 which is our gradient x plus the c we just found here which is the uh, 13 over 6 so this is our equation okay this is the, the equation of the normal to the curve or if you want or you can say 6 y is equal to negative x plus 13 it's just the same so this is how we find it Okay, so to those who would like to do online tuitions with, uh, with us, 
if you want to do online tutions with us in mathematics, additional mathematics, science, and uh, biology, you can contact us on uh, 0969 17 Thank you so much.